All right, I apologize, everyone. I sort of feel like the band Kiss. Uh, when they used to open up, they used to say, you wanted the best, they couldn't show up. So now you got us, so now you got me. Uh, I'm Tom Mueller. I'm the geospatial technology professor at California University of Pennsylvania. Uh, I, yes, Virginia, there is a California in Pennsylvania. The town's name is California. We're about 35 miles southeast of Pittsburgh. And what I wanna talk about very briefly, cause I know we wanna get to the break, is the service learning opportunity. Now, when I was an undergrad, I told a professor, you know what, I think I wanna go after my PhD and, and become a professor. And I'll never forget what he said, don't live in the ivory tower. You're going to impart knowledge on your students, your students are gonna impart knowledge on you, but make sure that it gets down to the community. And we hear a lot sometimes, these students, they're not interested in making a difference, they're on the Facebook or they're on the gram or something. But the problem is they're bombarded with information. You wanna know how I got my news? Three channels and the Sunday newspaper. They've got the internet, they've got social media, they're getting bombarded with information all the time. And when you talk to them, they're like, yes, I really wanna make a difference, but I don't know where to turn. And this is where OpenStreetMap really comes in because it's real world issues, which means you're gonna get discussions you never thought you would be able to have, right? So first off, um, I talk about, we have students doing all this great stuff, right? And one of the things they find out is, well, you know what? I, I think there's two buildings here, but why didn't they get a better picture? Now we're talking about spatial resolution. They don't know what spatial resolution was, but now we're talking about it. Or why did they take this imagery at this time? These trees are blocking things. Now we can talk about temporal resolution. So topics you never thought maybe that you could incorporate in your classes, OpenStreetMap allows you to do that. What I try and do, we do have a youth mappers program at Cal U, but I try and include what I call class mapathons in every class because you can bring the local and the global together. So for example, here's California Borough and over here's the campus over on that uh, Eastern part and students, that was the first open street map project that our students completed was completing uh, the campus map and then we would start off with, okay, let's create a few buildings here on in California Borough. And all of a sudden, students were like, hey, wait a minute, there, where's the police department? Where's this? And they started to really get the knowledge of the borough they're living in. And then to go even further to the godfather of OpenStreetMap Education, Stephen Johnson, hey, why don't we add some safety issues here? Where are the sidewalks? Where are the crosswalks? And students started to ask these questions. Well, we're, we're right along the Mon. What happens when the Mon floods are we, do we have accessibility issues to move people to safer areas? Because there's going to be a lot of traffic. People are like, I'm getting out of town, right? So they started to ask those questions about the local, and they started to build these buildings. And in fact, one particular student wants to take this information from OpenStreetMap to the California borough in the fall and discuss how that integration can happen with students and having OpenStreetMap help, help the borough. Well, then we expand to the global, bang, right? And this is what we're talking about because students start to understand similarities between their community and a community thousands of miles away. And they start to build this type of, of empathy, maybe, if that's how you wanna talk about it. And what's also great is with Youth Mappers, we've collaborated with West Virginia University. I'm gonna give a shout out to Bill. Bill, let's do something in Appalachia with Frostburg State and Cal U. Right, but here in humanitarian open street map, try to include it. So for example, I'll give one last example. In my demographic analysis course, we talk about gender issues. And so I decided we were going to talk about female genitalia mutilation, FGM, the most difficult topic I've ever talked about ever. And so we talked about it, we talked about all these concepts, and then the students went in and helped the Tanzania open street map group and say, let's create some buildings. So look. I don't know how I can help stop this, but I can at least do this one thing. And students started to educate themselves. And what's great is I may have said, hey, just create 50, maybe 75 buildings. Students were creating hundreds upon hundreds of buildings. When the malaria situation, same situation, they just want to help. And look, I'm making a difference, right? So I'm from, I was born in South Jersey, so I can always end with, that's my spiel. There's my email address and my Twitter account. And thank you very much. I appreciate your time.